Kang tae has definitely captured everyone's heart with his charismatic role as Lee Dun ho in Extraordinary Attorney Woo. With his newfound fame, many have become more curious about who this rising actor is. So let's find out more about him. Different Beginnings With his good physique and captivating looks, tae definitely passed the idol image. Before entering the acting industry, he took part in one of the first ever actor idol K-pop boy group, Surprise, which was handled by the company Fantasio Entertainment. The group consists of Kang tae Yu Il, So Kang Jung, Go Myung, and Lee Tae-hun. While idol groups frequently make their debut as singers before transitioning to actors, Surprise were different as they were introduced as actors first prior to becoming idol singers. Fantasio Entertainment was the first company to create a Korean band made out of actors in 2013 and had the members undergo both idol and acting training. The same year, Surprise released Hey You Come On as their pre-debut single for their web drama After School Lucky or Not, which also starred Kim Soo-eun. In 2014, Surprise officially debuted with their first single album From My Heart. As soon as they debuted, the group achieved domestic success and also became popular in Japan, which is one of the reasons they made their debut in Japan with the album Surprise Flight. Due to popular demand, the group had a follow-up album released in Japan named Shake It Up and also held their first concert in December of 2014. Unfortunately, the members left Fantasio Entertainment in 2020 after their contracts expired. It was first announced that one of their members, Gong Myung, decided to join Saram Entertainment and as for Kang tae together with Seoul Kang Jun, Yu Il, and Lee tae Hwan, they all signed exclusive contracts with their new agency, Man of Creation. But what about acting? People might have started to recognize tae on Extraordinary Attorney Woo, but his acting career started all the way back in 2013, and he already had a great list of filmography, from supporting roles, guest roles, and to finally landing his lead role. In 2013, together with his idol member Surprise, they made their debut as actors in their web drama After School, Lucky or Not. By 2017, tae was casted as the main lead in the drama You Are Too Much. He played the role of a blind son who was abandoned at a young age and takes solace in the piano and eventually becomes both a piano teacher and a musician. His sad eyes in the drama are guaranteed to make your heart hurt. His heartwarming performance was praised by many, which even granted him the Rising Star Award during the Asia Artist Awards ceremony. In 2018, Tao had a busy year and appeared in two dramas consecutively. First was the four-episode drama titled Short, and the other was for the fantasy rom-com Evergreen. Two years after receiving receiving his Rising Star Award, he bagged another title from the KBS Drama Awards as the best new actor for a completely different type of character, a historical prince Nung Young in The Tale of Nokdu. He was even nominated for a Best Couple Award along with his co-star Jung Dong Yoon for the same drama. More into his recent dramas, Tao also appeared on Run On with Soo Young from SNSD and played as Na Tina's first love in the 2021 drama Doom at Your Service. He's been quietly building his acting portfolio over the years and it's exciting to see him finally get the attention he deserves with his newest drama, Prince of Vietnam. South Korea might have taken nearly 10 years to finally recognize Tao's acting, but as early as 2014, he was already named as Prince of Vietnam. Tao gained a large following in Vietnam after playing Lee Jun Su, a talented K-pop star in the Forever Young series. The drama earned the highest ratings among programs aired at the time. It's about the lives, dreams, and struggles of young Vietnamese students studying in Seoul. The series followed the conflicting emotions inherent in love and friendship. By the following year, the series was able to continue its story by having another season, which Tao also appeared in as the main lead. In 2018, during his guest appearance on Happy Together Season 3, Tao was also able to share his thoughts about his success in Vietnam. He stated, I was able to gain attention from many people because the Korean-Vietnamese collaboration drama Forever Young did very well. One of the MCs, Yu Jae Sok, even mentioned how great Tao's popularity is in Vietnam by saying, I heard there are four to five cars waiting to escort Kang Tao at the airport because things turn chaotic when he arrives in Vietnam. Tao's acting in Forever Young earned him the title of Best Actor at the VTV Awards in 2015. And by 2016, he was able to hold his fan signed event in Vietnam to meet with his fans. But now, Tao plays the kind and caring Lee Jun ho and extraordinary attorney Woo, and it got fans wondering if he's also the same as his character. In a previous interview with The Swoon, actors Kang Tao, Park Eun Bin, and Kang Gi were asked to list three things your co-workers do that make hearts flutter so much it's illegal. Kang Tao answered that Park Eun Bin was so lovely that she makes people get addicted to her. And when asked about Kang tae charms, Jung Myung Suk said he was cool, silly, and goofy. Eun Bin also added that he has a nice personality and is easygoing, calm, and collected. And in a behind the scene video uploaded by The Swoon, it can also be seen how tae showed his true personality. His character rushes to assist Eun Bin as she falls while climbing a visit to a 500 year old hackberry tree with the Hambada team and their client. While they were joking around behind the scenes, tae was seen carefully cleaning 
cleaning Unbin's clothes and gently removing something out of her hair. The two also shared a sweet moment when Unbin attempted to high five Teo as he kept his hands pressed on hers. His sweet behind the scenes moments highlight his kind personality, which is perhaps what makes his on screen character so charming. Another occasion that shows Teo's kindness was when he recently donated to the people who were affected by the recent heavy flooding in South Korea. Around August 8th, South Korea experienced the heaviest rainfall after 80 years, which led to severe flooding and left huge damage in their city and neighboring areas. Buildings were damaged and hundreds of people were made homeless in an instant. In particular, the calamity has claimed the lives of at least 10 individuals while others are still missing. After hearing about the destruction wrought by the heavy rain, Kang Peo was devastated and decided to donate $16,000 to the Hope Bridge Korea Disaster Relief Association to help the flood victims return to their normal lives. Teo just proved he's more than just a pretty face, but also someone who's generous and warm-hearted. Now, since the drama extraordinary attorney Woo is captivating the hearts of global audiences, Teo's popularity is also rising high at the same time. He is definitely at his peak right now, and everyone's waiting to see what his next plans are. But after making headlines left and right, fans won't be able to see Teo for quite some time since he'll be enlisting in the military soon. He just turned 28 last June 20th, so that means he's already required to serve his duty as a South Korean citizen. Based on a report by SBS Star, the actor's agency, Man of Creation, has confirmed that Teo's military enlistment is happening within September, and his last project before he serves in the military will be Extraordinary Attorney Woo. Although Teo hasn't received his military warrant, Teo's agency stated he wanted to enlist early and that the actor intended to enlist in the Marine Corps or the Republic of Korea Navy due to his powerful physique and love of working out. However, he would probably opt to enlist as a normal active duty soldier in order to begin his mandatory service as soon as possible, since special units like the Republic of Korea Navy and branches like the Marine Corps require applicants to pass certain tests. In response to the report, Tail's management agency Man of Creation stated, It is true that Kang Tail must enlist within this year, but his military warrant has not yet been issued. But with his newfound fame, Kang Tail has been receiving a lot of offers after appearing on Extraordinary Attorney Woo. Despite enlisting in the military soon, doors have been opened and he's been receiving different kinds of opportunities like having a fan meeting tour in five European countries. On July 23rd, JTBC also shared that despite the fact that Kang Teo is going to enlist in the military, he's still getting numerous calls daily to advertise various products and that he's even getting offers to perform in different acting projects. In addition to the advertising industry, many agencies are also contacting Teo in other fields including entertainment shows, radio, and magazine pictorials. A representative of Teo told JTBC, We have received proposals for collaboration collaboration of various contents such as web entertainment as well as contents on familiar platforms such as TV entertainment and magazine pictorials. But it seems like these offers have to be put on hold since Teo has to serve his duty and enlist in the military. Despite it making everyone sad, we must respect his decision since it's more of an obligation for South Korean men rather than a choice. What are your thoughts about Kang Teo's journey? Let us know by leaving a comment below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!